Hey friends, Kitty, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another ranking video. I decided to do foundations today. Now, when I first originally was doing this, I had more foundations. Today, I only have like four physically with me, but I decided to do a top five because I feel like that makes a lot more sense and stuff like that, even though I don't have the fifth foundation, but I've had the fifth foundation like I refreshed it several times. So I decided to do that anyways. But anyways, um, yeah, so this ranking series was inspired and it was created by Kelly Gooch. I did, I think one or two other ranking videos, which should be live by the time this one goes up. So be sure to check it out and everything. I'm super excited to be mentioning just more stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited to be doing another ranking video. These are my favorites to watch. And I also love like filming them, the ones I have filmed at least. And yeah, so I don't want this to be a long video, but we're doing foundations today and I'm super excited. So let's just get right into it. So number five being the least favorite is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Now I love the applicator part of this foundation. I took the stopper up because nothing was coming out, but this color does not match me. So I tend to use this like not really. Like, so I always have to use a white mixer when I use this foundation and that's just a pain. So I don't ever use this foundation, which I feel like is such a waste. I definitely want to use this foundation more. I feel like it's gonna come to a point where I'm gonna start panning it, but I just, I don't know. Like I like the formula. I just don't like the color. I think this is why, but out of all my foundations, this is definitely the least favorite in my collection. I just don't love this foundation. I like the formula, but like I just find compared to everything else I own, this is the least favorite for me. But yeah, plus this shade range is just really weird. Like I don't feel like they have a good shade range. So this isn't my favorite and stuff like that, but I do like the applicator. I do like how it is more of a dope plus so you can go over face with it. But other than that, uh, not a fan. Next one is from Wet n Wild. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I really like this when I first tried this out. And I don't hate this foundation, but I do find that I hate the applicator. That's like my first complaint about this foundation is the applicator just sucks and everything. And I feel like this foundation, it's hard to scrape the sides with the applicator. Like I feel like you just can never get it good with that. I have mine in the shade Nude Ivory. And then the one that doesn't match me from Clinique is in Linen. Just so you know, I'm not gonna swatch these foundations. But yeah, this one is number two. First off, the scent in this, it smells like literal paint. Why am I smelling this? Like, do I want to smell paint? I don't know, but I like the formula. It's very like, it's full coverage, but it's also lightweight. But it, it falls in number four, just because it's not my favorite formula of all the formulas I have. I don't really love the applicator part of it, but the formula is pretty nice. I, I decently, I guess, like it, but yeah, not, definitely not the most favorite foundation that I do own, but it's not terrible. It's just not like number two or number one. So next in number three is this one from Amani Vegan Cosmetics. I actually did like videos for their website for them. They actually sent this to me and stuff. They sent me several of their products and everything. And I do like this foundation. This one's in the shade 210 Natural Beige, which I really like. I feel like this shade is a little too deep for me just like slightly so I always use a white mixer when I use this or I'll like blend it down my neck but I really like this it reminds me a lot of the It Cosmetics CC cream because it's more of like a dewy lightweight type thing foundation type thing it has a lot of vitamins and minerals in it which I really like and it's a great foundation it it just it's very lightweight and I liked this for work I still like it for work but it's just not the one I've been using recently I like it because it is lightweight it has minerals in it it's not toxic or any way, in a way, any way, shape, or form. It is a very nice formula and it is very lightweight, but can be buildable. All these foundations do have buildable coverage, which I like when it comes to my foundations. But this is just in number three, just because it's not my favorite, but I do like the finish that it gives. I think it gives the most natural finish out of some of these. Definitely not the most natural, but it is very natural. It's just, there's another one that's even more natural. So my favorite in number two is the 
the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. This is the foundation I'm wearing on my face today. I love how it looks. I have mine in the shade 405, which I'm not sure what shade that is, but this is probably my perfect shade match foundation when it comes to like, this is actually my skin color, which I like. And this is such a lightweight foundation. I just apply it with a brush and then I'll go in with a sponge after to kind of make it more natural. But this is the most lightweight. I feel like wearing nothing when I wear this foundation. This is a great foundation. It isn't number one for me, but it is number two. It is pretty close to being number one. I love this foundation. It's pretty much my everyday foundation when I wear makeup foundation foundation. I love it. It is super amazing. It just feels so nice on the skin and it's just super amazing. Like I love it so much. I truly do live for this foundation. It's very lightweight. Love it. Buildable coverage. It's like a light medium coverage. Actually, a lot of these are medium to full coverage foundations, but I'd say this is a light to medium, maybe even medium coverage foundation, but I really, really like this. And it's not number one, but it is basically number one. If you know what I mean? Like I really like it. It's not like a hate at all, which number three wasn't. And I don't hate any of these foundations. It's just how I'm ranking them. Okay. And the number one that I do not have with me is a L'Oreal Pro Glow. I don't know if anything will ever beat that foundation for me. The L'Oreal Pro Glow is among my favorites. I really like it because it is a light to medium air light kind of finish like foundation. I really like it. I always get the shade 202, which matches me pretty well. And I like it because it's a glowy foundation. It's lightweight. It's breathable on the skin. It just feels so nice and the skin feels very lightweight. And I love the glow it gives. I love down acting. I love the off acting. I be feel like I've re mentioned it recently in a favorites video. So I'm gonna link that down below if you want to check that out. But I mentioned it recently in a empties video. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it down below. But this is my favorite foundation just because it is air light. It's glowy. I love a glowy foundation and just super beautiful, which I love. It's gorgeous. I love it on the skin. It feels very nice on the skin. And that was like an everyday product for me for the longest time. And it's such a great foundation. I love L'Oreal's foundations, which I never knew until like these last couple years when I started using more of their foundations and stuff like that. But yeah, this is a very quick and easy video. I feel like I didn't have much to talk on. Let me know down below what your favorite foundations are. Let me know down below. I need to try more foundations. Like there's so many foundations that I want to try that are out there but and yeah so let me know your favorites down below be sure to give this video a thumbs up also let me know what other products you like to see me rank i would love to do i should have held soon i think i'm gonna split that one into drugstore and high end because i feel like that would be way too hard to do it in like high end and stuff like that like it just i feel like it'd be way too hard to do just as one like high end and drugstore combined but want to see that let me know down below i know it's going to take me forever to do because i i have an eyeshadow palette addiction but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like i said give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my blog which is always linked down below and my vlog channel always linked down below and follow me all over the place always linked down below i say that way too much have a great day and i hope to be ranking something very new very soon bye